Francisco, you never told me you were a brother. Oh, I never told anyone. And you never told me about your sister. She is young, very beautiful. You think she looks like me? She si, very much like you. Well, uh, I will talk to her. Francisco, si. why you keep this a secret? Why you never tell Pancho you have a sister? There's only one reason why I did not tell you. And what is that? Because up until today, in all his life, the Cisco kid never had a sister. <laughs> W.O.R. and Mutual present the Cisco Kid, O. Henry's beloved bad man who rides the romantic trail that leads sometimes to adventure, often to danger, but always to lovely senorita. We invite you to meet this dashing caballero now in tonight's complete story. The Cisco Kid meets his sister. <laughs> Pancho. Si, Cisco. She must be very small sister. I do not see her. But Pancho, no, she's in that room. <laughs> Cisco, always you make the joke. Cisco, where is your sister? That is a good question, Pancho. All it needs is a good answer. But, but, Cisco, uh, she was here only a minute ago. I was talking to her just before you came. Well, she's not here now, amigo. Man, I... Oi. The open window. Do you think your sister go out of the window? See, si, at the same time, the brother come in the door. Oh, uh, sounds like some kind of a game. Pancho, tell me what this sister of mine looks like. Oh, she's a very beautiful girl, Cisco. She's about uh, so high. See, si. And she have red rose in her hair. See, si. And she wears a dress that is a color of strawberries. Oh, red. No, blue. But strawberries are red. This is color of blue strawberry. Bueno. Now we must find the sister. Oh, I think she will come back. No, she will not come back. Pancho, there's something funny going on. The Cisco kid does not have a sister. Yet a senorita comes here and says she is my sister. See, that is funny. Then, before the Cisco kid can see her, she runs away. See, that is funny. Now we go to work and find her. Ah, uh, that is not funny. You will take the east side of town. I will take the west side. And we will search very hard. Well, the Cisco kid has an idea that if we do not find this sister soon, we will have trouble. Well, if it isn't the Cisco kid... See, si, Senor Sam, the Cisco kid. Now, you're not going to make trouble for me, are you, Cisco? Senor, the Cisco kid does not make trouble. I only finish his trouble. Oh. Well, what can I do for you? I am uh, looking for, uh, for my sister. Mm-hmm. Your sister? You have seen her, senor? Well, uh, yes. She was in here just a few minutes ago. And she told me she was your sister. You know where she went? Well, she was asking me who lived in the big house next to the hotel. Sent it to me like she was going there. The big house, eh? I didn't even know you had a sister before tonight. I'll be fine, huh? Do not worry. Pancho is looking for her, too. We will find her. I'll try the big house next to the hotel. Adios. So long. Hello. Get 748. Yeah, that's right. This is Sam. Just wanted to tell you the Cisco kid was just in. Yeah. Yeah, it's working just like you planned. It's looking for her. Sure. Sure. I know what to do. Just you make sure I get the dough you promised me for this. Oh, senor. Senor. You calling me? Si, I am looking for a girl. You have seen her? Seen lots of girls. Ah, but this is a special girl. And she is the sister of the, the Cisco kid. Yeah, what she look like? Uh, she is about so high. Uh, she has red rose in her hair. And she... Hey, what are these things you have here, senor? Oh, just three walnut shells and a pea. What did you say this girl looked like? Oh, see the girl. Well, she is about so high. She has red rose in her hair. And she... 
Hey, what do you do with those three walnut shell and the peas, senor? Just play a little game, that's all. A game? Yeah. Now about this girl. Oh, see, the girl, well, uh, she's about so high and has a... Uh... Uh, how do you play this game? Uh, it's easy. I put the pea under one of the shells. You tell me which shell it's under. If you pick the right one, I give you five dollars. If you miss it, you give me a dollar. And you let me watch while you are putting the pea under the shell? Sure. Now, uh, what about this girl? Oh, 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 oh the girl. Yeah, uh, she is so high. And she had... You let me play this game with you once? But you're looking for this girl. I will have time to play this game once. Go ahead, senor. Let Pancho play. Yeah. All right. I'll put the pea under one of the three shells. Now watch. See, Pancho is watching. Yep, I got it under. Now you tell me which shell. Oh, 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 oh. this is very easy. <laughs> you pay me five dollars if I tell you? Sure. <laughs> this is the easiest way to make money Pancho has ever found. <laughs> I know which shell the pea is under. You do? Oh, but of course, I see you put it there. Oh, this is so easy. <laughs> I almost do not like to take your money. <laughs> That's all right. I don't mind. Which shell is it under? Why, this one in the middle. It has to be there. I saw you put it there. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> now, the little five dollar comes to Pancho. Oh, nice little dollar. Pancho will... Where is the pea? It's not under the middle one. No? But I saw you put it there. Yeah, maybe it's under this one on the left. Well... What do you know? That's just where it is. I think Pancho make mistake, I think. And it makes the dollar you owe me. Dollar? Oh, oh, see, yeah, dollar. Here, yeah, senor, here is dollar. Thanks. Uh, now about this girl you're looking for. Girl? Uh, yeah. What does she look like? Oh, oh, well, she is about so high. She has a red rose in her hair, and she is, um, what is you think I could maybe play this game once more? Well... Oh, please, senor, just once more. It is such an easy game. Pancho will not make the mistake again. This time, Pancho will win. And then he will look for the girl who says she is the sister of the Cisco King. <laughs> Sergeant Potter, senorita. I am looking for my uh, sister. Oh, uh, your sister? See, si. I was told she came to your house. I am the Cisco kid. Oh, the Cisco kid. You know my uh, sister? Oh, why, well, yes, she was here just a few minutes ago. She has gone. Uh, yes, just before you came. Do you know where she went? Oh, uh, well, I think she said something about going to the hotel. Bueno, I will look for... Oh, is something the matter? You're staring at me. I was thinking so much about my sister, senorita did not see at first how lovely you are. Oh, lovely? Very lovely, Paloma Mia. Your eyes. Oh, they are like precious diamonds. Cisco. And your hair is like the summer sunset. Oh, Cisco. I think you are the most beautiful senorita the Cisco kid has ever seen. On my heart, I swear. Oh, Cisco. Oh, you, you kissed me. Did you mind, senorita? Oh, I don't know. Try it again and I'll see. No. Oh, no, I didn't mind. Now, senorita, I must go. I'm looking for my sister. Cisco, it's all a mistake. We will talk about that later, senorita, but now I must go. No, you must listen to me. You're in danger. Cisco, Kate, love is danger, precious one. Adios. Yes, this is Sue. Oh, yes, he was just here. Your plan's working fine, but I'm through. I don't want any more to do with it. And I'm going to the sheriff and tell him the whole thing. I don't care what you say. I'm going to the sheriff. Pancho does not understand it. I see you put the pea under the left shell, but it's really under the right shell. That's another dollar you owe me. See, another dollar. How about this girl you're looking for? Oh, see, 
Uh, what does she look like? Well, she, she is about so high. She has red rolls in her hair, and she has dress. Maybe I try the game once more, huh? And you better be finding that girl. See, si, see, si, I will find her, but first I try the game again. Please, senor, please, let Pancho try. Well, all right. Oh, gracias, senor, gracias. I, I, I try the game once more. This time I am sure to win. And then I will look for the senorita who says she is the sister of the sister. Oh, Pancho, Isn't the Cisco kid? She is the Cisco kid. And the Cisco kid is looking for his sister. You have seen her? Oh, my, yes. Uh, she was here just a few minutes ago. But she left just before I came. Oh, why? Uh, why, yes, uh, so she did. But how did you know? The Cisco kid is learning very fast. Did she say which way she was going? Why, uh, uh, yes, uh, she said she was uh, going to the Two Bar Ranch. The Two Bar Ranch? Uh, yes. Gracias, senor. The Cisco kid is on his way to the Two Bar Ranch right now. Operator. Operator. I want 748. Yes, that's right. Hello? Uh, this is Hubert. Uh, yes. Yes, the Cisco kid was here. Oh, yes. I, I did just exactly what you told me. Uh, he's on his way to the ranch right now. Oh, no. I, I wouldn't say a word to anyone. <laughs> Just the way you told me, Senor Mike. That's swell. I tell everyone I am the sister of a Cisco kid. I go to all the places you write down for me on a list. And I say just what you tell me to say. Mm, great work, baby. <laughs> I think this is a very funny joke we play on a Cisco kid, no? Joke? <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, swell joke. <laughs> and pretty soon now, uh, he will be coming here to the two-bar ranch. Yeah, that's right. Ought to be here very soon. Oh, we go up to the ranch house now, Mike, huh? Well, no, no, not yet. We'll wait here in my cabin. Oh, but Cisco will go to our house. We can watch the house from here. As soon as we see him, we'll walk on up. Mm, I tell you, Mike, I will be very glad to meet the Cisco kid. Mm, I have heard wonderful stories about him. Have you? See, si. uh, that is why when you tell me you want to play this joke on him, I am very glad to help because now I will meet the Cisco kid. Yeah, you'll meet him, all right. <gasps> he likes Cisco, too. Yes. Oh, I cannot wait to meet Cisco. I am sure... Oh, oh, you think that is Cisco, though? No, that's not Cisco. He wouldn't come here. He'll go on up to the ranch. He's just a friend of mine. Hello, Mike. Oh, hello, Sam. Well, I just care. Uh, well, she's here. Yeah. You remember Sam, don't you, Anita? Oh, but of course. He owns a cafe where you tell me to go tonight. That's all right. Well, Sam. He took care of Sue. She won't be telling the sheriff anything about this. Got one of the boys with her, waiting for orders. Good. Everything else going all right, Mike? Yeah. Hubert phoned just a little while ago. Said Cisco was on his way here. And he should be coming soon. Right. Sure is a beautiful plan, Mike. Not bad. We're going to make a lot of dough, and the Cisco kid's going to find himself in a pack of trouble. Wait a minute, Mike. What's the matter with you, baby? I don't understand this. Yesterday, you come to me and tell me you are going to play a little joke on the Cisco kid. Sure. You tell me I'm to pretend I am Cisco's sister. You tell me what to wear and what to say. That's right. You say it is only fun. Uh, just a little joke. But now it doesn't sound like fun. It sounds like you're going to hurt the Cisco kid. Now, don't get excited. You did your part, just leave the rest to us. No. No, I think you fool, Juanita. This is not a joke at all. Now, you listen to me. You're right about this not being a joke. And you're right about us making trouble for the Cisco kid. There's nothing you can do about it. So just stay where you are and you won't get hurt. Oh, but you tricked me. I would never have helped you if I knew you were going to hurt Cisco. It's too bad, baby. But you've already helped us. You've done everything we wanted. Oh, you cannot keep me here. I am going to tell Cisco. And he will... Look, to... Juanita, I'm not going to tell you again. We don't want to hurt you. But if you try to leave this cabin... Well, you've got a gun, Sam? Sure. Sure, I've got a gun. Get what I mean, baby? See? That's better. 
Now, keep watching out that window, Sam. You can see Cisco when he goes up the path to the ranch house. We've got everything fixed to handle the Cisco kid, and we'll be able to handle Pancho, too. You've lost, Sancho. See, twenty-two dollar. Always, I, I think I know which shell the pea is under, but always is under another shell. That's too bad. But now about this girl you're looking for. Oh, see the girl. Well, she is just about so high. She has a red rose in her hair, and she, she. I think maybe I try the game once more, eh? Huh? Well, I don't know. Please, senor, please. Let Pancho play just once more. Well, I I guess just once more won't hurt. Oh, gracias, senor, gracias. This time, Pancho will win. This time, I will find the little pea under the shell. And this time, I will find the sister of the Cisco kid. <laughs> Buenas noches, senorita. May I come in? Who are you? The Cisco Kid. The Cisco Kid? Si. May I come in? Why, yes, of course. Gracias. What do you want with... Why are you staring at me? I think the search is over. So, you are the one, senorita. What are you talking about? About so high? Si. And the red, red rose in your hair. And your dress is blue. Si. You are the one. What's this all about? That is just what I was going to ask you my little sister. Sister? You do not know your own brother? I'm not your sister. My name is Ellis, Anne Ellis. The Cisco kid is happy to know you, Anne. This is my ranch. I own it. I think he's very fine ranch. But I do not understand why you tell everyone you are the sister of the Cisco kid. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I've been looking for you all evening. I never told anyone I was your sister. Why should I? I do not know that, senorita. And that is why I have come here. Well, I think you'd better leave. In a few moments, senorita. No, I think you'd better go now. Well, we have only just met. I don't know what you're up to, but if you don't go at once, I'll call some of the men and have you thrown out. You know, senorita, now that we have met, I'm very glad you are not my sister. Very well, I'll call the men. You are too beautiful to be just a sister. They can have you thrown out and I... What did you say? I said you were... Too beautiful to be just a sister. Beautiful? See? Beautiful. Very beautiful. In all his life, the Cisco kid has never seen anyone so beautiful as you. Huh? I almost believe you mean that. How can you doubt me, lovely one? On my heart, I swear it. You... you do mean it. But of course. The Cisco kid would not lie to you. No, I, I'm sure you wouldn't. This moment, senorita. It was made for us. Yes. For us. Just we two. Here. Alone. No, do not try to speak. Listen to your heart, senorita. It is telling you this moment is ours. Yours and this is Kid. This moment we will remember always. Oh, this God. Senorita. Yes, Cisco. You have never told anyone you are the sister of the Cisco kid? Oh, no, I never told anyone that. Bueno, now I must go. Go? See, si. There are many things the Cisco kid must do. But do you have to go now, can't you? No, senorita. I cannot wait. I think I have waited too long already. But when will I see you again? Soon. I promise you. Perhaps even sooner than you think. Adios. Goodbye, Cisco. That uh, Cisco kid's quite a guy, isn't he, Miss Ellis? What? Oh, it's you, Mike. Yeah, it's me. What are you doing here? Well, I'm the foreman of your ranch, Miss Ellis. Maybe I've got some business to talk over with you. It doesn't give you any right to sneak in here. Any business we have to discuss can wait until morning. Well, it so happens this can't wait. 
I happen to know that you got paid off today for the cattle you sold. Paid off in cash. Suppose I did. That doesn't concern you. Oh, yes, it does. You see, I happen to know that you haven't taken that dough to the bank yet. It's right here in the house. I think you're forgetting yourself, Mike. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not forgetting anything. You see, I want that money. So that's it. You're going to steal... Now, wait a minute. Get this straight. It won't do you any good to yell because there's no one around to hear you. I don't think you can get away with this, do you, Mike? Sure I do. You see, I've got it all planned. Very carefully. I found a girl who looks something like you. Same height, same color hair. I got her dressed up just like you are now. Blue dress, rose in her hair. Hmm, so that's who Cisco was talking about. Sure. She's been all over town and everyone's seen her. What's more, they all know sister has been looking for her. Telling some phony story about her being his sister. So? So, when the money is gone, the sheriff will find a dozen witnesses who will swear the Cisco kid was coming here looking for you. And he'll think Cisco's the one who took the money. Pretty nice little scheme, isn't it? It won't work. I'll tell the sheriff the truth. Oh, no, you won't. Because you'll be found here. Dead. Dead? Sure. And Cisco gets blamed for murder, too. You wouldn't dare kill me. Wrong again, Miss Ellis. That's what I've got this gun for. Oh. You see, I'm not fooling. I'll be the one who finds your body. I'll call the sheriff. Tell him I saw Cisco come here. And the Cisco kid will be wanted for robbery and murder. Now, look, Mike. All I do is just point the gun at you and then pull the trigger. Oh, senor, you do not pull the trigger. Cisco. How did you get here? The same way you did, senor, through the side door. Oh, Cisco. I think the Cisco kid came back just in time. The gun, senor Mike. Put it down here on the table. And he's better. Now, I think maybe we call the sheriff. But what made you come back? Senorita, all along I knew this must be a trap. The girl who says she's my sister. Someone wants me to follow her. Someone wants me to come here to this ranch. Careful, senor, stay away from that gun. When I met you, senorita, and I find you know nothing about this, I'm sure it's a trap. So I say I'm leaving, but I do not leave at all. Now I think you call the sheriff. Not so fast. Nobody's calling the sheriff. Sam! Oh, you are here too, Sam. Sam. Yeah. I've got a gun pointed right at your back, Cisco. So don't try anything. Good work, Sam. Now we can go through with this, just the way we planned. Put your gun on the table, Cisco. Cisco, do what he says, he'll kill you. I think the Cisco kid has no choice. Go ahead. Put it down. See? Come on, Sam. Let's get on with it. Okay. Pick up your gun, Mike. You do not think the Cisco kid will let you go ahead with your plan, do you, senor? There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> you can't stop us now, Cisco. But perhaps I can. Make just one move and I'll kill you. Cisco, what are we going to do? Oh, I think there are many things we can do. Senor, leader, down! Sam, look out! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, that was fun, senor. It's too bad you forgot one thing. The Cisco kid always carries two guns. And with either one, he is very fast. Senorita, I hope I do not hurt the table when I knock it over. Cisco? See? You were wonderful. Oh, I would not say wonderful, Senorita. I was good, perhaps. Maybe even very good, but not wonderful. It was wonderful. I still don't know how you did it. It happened so fast. Oh, it was very easy. First, I knocked the table over so Senor Mike cannot get his gun. Then I shoot Senor Sam before Senor Sam can shoot me. By that time, Senor Mike has his gun, and I shoot Senor Mike before Senor Mike can shoot me. I think now by this time, the doctor should be finished with them, and the sheriff should have them in jail. You are wonderful. If it hadn't been for you, I... Oh, we do not even think about that, Senor. You were wonderful. Well, well, maybe you are right. Maybe I was wonderful. Cisco, I think you are wonderful. Senorita, I think I am very glad you are not my sister. Oh, Cisco. Pancho does not understand it, senor. I see you put a pea under one shell, but always we find it under another shell. It's too bad. That makes uh, $31, Joe. See, 
I think I play the game enough. Now I better find this girl so I can help the Cisco Keys. Sure. Now, what does she look like? Well, she's about so high, and she she wears a, a dress. Senor, I think I try the game once more. This time, I am sure Pancho will win. I've been listening to The Cisco Kid Meets His Sister, another in the series of Cisco Kid Adventures presented by WOR and Mutual each Friday evening at 8.30 p.m. Eastern War Time over most of these stations. The Cisco Kid is played by Jackson Beck, written by John L. Sin, and directed by Jock McGregor. Next Friday evening at the same time, another Cisco Kid Adventure. The Cisco Kid Takes a Picture. It's an exciting romantic mystery that begins like this. Oh, who's there? It is not wise for such a lovely senorita to be walking along these lonely roads so late at night. Oh, my car broke down. I had to walk. Oh, do not be alarmed, senorita. The Cisco kid would never harm one so lovely. The Cisco kid? See, si. You have never heard of me? No. Then you must come from far away, senorita. I have. You are going into town? Yes. My father lives there. He's the one I've come to see. You do not sound very happy about it, senorita. I'm not. You see, he sent me word that he's in trouble. Oh, do not worry about that. The Cisco kid will get him out of the trouble. Oh, but you don't even know what kind of trouble he's in. It does not matter. Whatever it is, the Cisco kid will fix it. But I, I don't understand. Why should you want to help him? Because you are so beautiful. Oh, well, that's no reason to help my father. I cannot think of a better reason. By the way, senorita, just who is your father? Why, well, he's the sheriff. The sheriff? Yes. What's wrong with that? Oh, uh, nothing, but if your father is the sheriff, before this is finished, I think we will all have trouble. to listen to The Cisco Kid Takes a Picture next Friday evening at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Moor Time over most of these same stations. Mm-hmm.